by Samuel Meadnilla workers will still not be able to afford the proposed premium hike of the Social Security System, SSS, even with the passage of the Tax Reform for Acceleration and Inclusion, train, bill, according to Trade Union Congress of the Philippines, TUCP. Credit, tucp.org.ph slash Manila Bulletin. In a statement, TUCP noted that the additional employees, who will be exempted from income tax under train, would end up using their savings to pay for the new expenses caused by the same legislation. The supposed savings from PIT, personal income tax, reforms will actually be paid by the workers to the excise tax on petroleum and VAT expansion which train will also pass, TUCP said. The labor group also noted that at least 2 million workers are already exempted from PIT by Republic Act 9504 or the tax exemption law, but may still be made to pay SSS's proposed new premium. SSS is now pushing to raise the monthly contribution rates of its members from 11 to 12.5 percent to make its fund more sustainable after it implemented a pension increase earlier this year. Last week, SSS reported its net income fell by 57 percent because of the pension hike. TUCP, however, reiterated that workers should not foot the bill for the pension increase. Instead, it demanded SSS to cut its expenses by reducing the benefits of its executives and to go after airing employers who are not remitting the SSS contributions of their workers. TUCP said it hopes these issues will be raised during the Congressional Inquiry on the Investment Controversy, which involves at least four SSS executives. The Trade Union Congress of the Philippines urges the House of Representatives to conduct a full congressional inquiry to look into all aspects of operations of the social security system in order to maintain the integrity of the fund and protect the interest of workers and SSS members, TUCP said. Tags, Income Tax Exemptions, Tax Reform for Acceleration and Inclusion Bill, Train Bill